I made some tea for you. Would Thanks. you like some? Yes, please. I'm constantly drinking tea because I enjoy making different teas based on how I'm feeling at the time and aiding in my mood and work. So right now I've made a super, super tranquilizing one. It's Damiana, lemon myrtle, lavender, and chamomile. Oh. <laughs> nice. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. So I just have this nook in the lounge room and because we're in a Queenslander, I have a massive storage area downstairs, but we don't go there unless we really have to. What's your art practice about? Normally, my art practice is all about how I am grappling with my place in my own situation and context, which for me is an urban context, a neoliberal context, a colonial context, um, and just working out how to philosophically engage with that and socially and physically engage with that. And also just as a child of the cosmos, like everyone else, I work on all those different levels and mix them all together. <laughs> and that's basically what my practice is. When I'm not doing my serious art, I'm normally making costumes slash performing under a pseudonym called Algal Bloom, who's a post-gender being slash plant from the future, who's just mostly been reading way too much Donna Haraway. This is um, actually a curb-sided sewing machine. Nice. And her name is Blue Magic. That's actually her name. It's written on it somewhere. <laughs> but when I went to get the spare parts for it, um, the sewing machine repairman called it Blue Tragic. Aww. Um, and here's what I'm going to make my next costume out of. Oh, what are they? Placemats. Excellent. Scarves. Upshopped. Bits of old t-shirt. Yes, upshopped. And a hey, sapphire. This is Sarah's cat sapphire. <laughs> and um, fabric samples. Great. In multiple hues. From reverse garbage. We there's some, reverse garbage. there's some nice hues. Yes. As you can tell, I have to keep the costs down and I fully see that as part of my practice. Um, so I can save up for things I really need, like pieces of equipment and things. What's on the window? On the window is some writing from a project I recently did called Cultivating Reciprocity, which involved a group therapy session with <laughs> a group of artists and my friend Mary McIntyre, who's a Buddhist somatic psychotherapist. And we talked all about how we interface with the art scene and how we can feed it better and feed the arts ecology better and how it could maybe feed us better and how to stay well while we're doing it. <laughs> Sapphire. <laughs> what an imposition. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so these aren't my words. These are actually words from the people that participated in the session with us. Um, and just as a small gesture, I've put them on my studio window and I'll be releasing them out to the world soon. Um, but yeah, they're not my words. So. Nice. But I've been enjoying them every time I sit down and work.